Hey what's up guys my name is Ricky and welcome back to my channel and in my previous video you have seen that we have designed this artwork and also printed on a black t-shirt so in this video we are going to do color separations and let's see how it goes Okay, so now that we have our design over here, so let's go and do our color separations. So we are in the layer sections over here. So in order to do our color separations, we need to go to channels. So you click on the channels and you will see that we have RGB uh, in RGB in RGB mode. And we need to have that because we're going to do color separations and uh, simulated process so once you are in the channel you go down below and there you will find that create new channel so you click on that and you will get this alpha one you double click on that and you name these as black t-shirt or in short you can name this as BT which stands for black t-shirt then you choose spot color and on the color section over here you click black you keep the solid solid solidity to 100 percent and press ok so now we have got our background for our black t-shirt so you click on this rgb on top of here again and uh, now what we need to do is uh, get our white base right so there are a couple of ways to get our white base the simple way the simple way to get your white base is go and select everything so to do that you go you can either double click here or you can go and select on this tool over here at the bottom at the bottom here so in that way it will get selected and then you go and save this just right beside the selection tool you go and save this as alpha one you click on that and now you go and press ctrl d to go and deselect what we have already selected and you need to inverse this because right now it's in the positive form we need to convert this into negative right so you press ctrl or command if you're in if you're using mac then you press i so it'll get inverted and now you turn on our black background which is our black t-shirt so you'll see right now by default it is in red color but we want this to we want this to change into uh, white because we're going to print white base right so you double click on alpha one you rename this as white or white base or for me i like to go simple i just type as w which stands for white you go to you go to spot color you go to the color section again here and you go and choose white and click okay now solidity you keep only 85 percent right okay and press okay so we have our white base so that's it we have our white base and uh, then what we can do is we go and select the rgb color over here again we go to select mode we go to color range and if you see on here on top it says select sample colors you click on that and we choose red so we have our red selection so you just click this invert so that it is in a negative form and then you press ok what we'll do is it will select only the red part and then we can save this channel as well so you go again below save this channel and this alpha one will come you click on that and same thing again you press ctrl or command d to deselect and double click it you go to spot color you choose red and name this as red now solidity you only keep five percent Press OK. We'll do the same for the yellow as well. So you click on RGB, 
you go to select you go to color range and from here from the select button you click that and then you get the yellow invert this image and press ok now go and save this press on the save selection as channel and then this alpha one will again pop up so you click on that you control D to deselect double click on it and now you go to spot color you go to the color section and we're gonna select a yellow so you press this okay name this as yellow again solidity you keep to five person and press okay so now we turn on everything we turn on our black t-shirt we turn on our white base we turn on our red and we turn on our yellow wow that's it right but no that's not it so we have to do some adjustment so that we get a perfect result to do that we need to first adjust our white because at the moment right now the white is too bright so we need to dim it down and to do that there are a couple of ways uh, to do that very basic one is just press ctrl m which will bring out our curve right so by using the curve tool you can do some adjustment so if we press this above and pull this above you can see that we have got a very nice uh, white base going on all right so we'll keep it just around there and we want to bring this to a little bit like that so all over here there was some uh, unwanted uh, what you call this uh, thing that we don't we would maybe want to delete that part right and to make it more sharper on the edges so we just bring this a little bit towards the left okay that's fine and a little bit more so we are almost closing down to our original picture okay so, and then you press okay and you go to red and do the same thing you press ctrl m but this time we want to increase our red a little bit right so you go down here and increase yes i think that's fine and let's see if we want to move this and sharpen a little bit more edges so that's fine we're gonna click okay and we're gonna do the same thing for the yellow press on the yellow Control m we bring out the curve and then again same thing we're gonna increase a little bit of yellow if you don't want to do that much because it will not give that fire effect or neither you want to you know uh, decrease the details you want to increase a little bit of yellow uh -huh. so this is really uh this depends on your judgment what best you think will turn out to be so this is this you need to tweak around a little bit to get a perfect you know it doesn't have to match 100 percent with uh, the original artwork if you get like 70 to 80 percent correct that's already good so once we do the half tones you'll get the perfect results so we are almost there we get it we have already got around 70 percent of it and uh, yeah i think i'll keep it here and again turn this a little bit sharper so that we have more results yeah somewhere around here okay so that's awesome right okay so this is done so this is our original artwork and then we have got this now you must be thinking that it's not so bright but the reason why is that you know when we are in the channel and we try to do this uh, it's okay to have around 70 to 80 percent like I said and so once we do the once we do the uh, you know this uh, bitmap and turn it into half tones all the colors will come up properly okay so we are done with this right now so let's go ahead and do our uh, half tones so first thing first you go and click on the white 
okay so you can also go here and split the channels but uh, i just want to keep this and if there's some adjustment i need to do i'll later on come back here and do some adjustments so i'll keep this and not split the channel at this moment but right now i'm going to pull one by one so you click on the white you press ctrl a to select everything and then you press ctrl c to copy you'll not see any changes but it has already the system has already registered uh, to copy this image and now you're gonna press ctrl n for new so you this don't touch anything just press create and we'll have the same size uh, layer here so now what you need to do simple is ctrl v to paste so this is our white base we are going to do half tones effects for this. You go to image, go mode, and you press bitmap. Flatten layers, you press OK. Now the output you keep to 300, and on the method you choose half tone screens. You keep this at pixel per inch and press OK. Now on the frequency part, you keep 50 to 45, 50 frequency and 40 angles and we will choose the lips well for frequency and angle it depends on what kind of uh, printing job you are doing and what kind of what mass count you are going to use since this is a half tone and we have got very much details we are going to use higher mesh count which is 203 mesh count we are going to use that so we want to get very fine details so we'll keep this frequency at 50 and if you want like very big dots you can reduce the frequency as well but you can keep the angle at 45 so you know that's perfect so we're gonna press ok so now we already have converted this into half tone so if you if you zoom in you'll see that all these tiny dots little dots that you see but if you zoom it out you will not see much of it right so one last thing that we need to do this in order to do changes on this on this uh on this layer is that you're gonna go to image again you go to mode and you change it to grayscale and you press ratio you keep it there itself and you press okay all right so you go to image again you go to mode and change this to rgb color because we're going to see what are the changes we have so you double click on this layer to unlock this uh, layer so we we'll click that and we'll name this as white base and we'll press ok so now we're going so now what we'll do is we'll, we'll go and delete this white background so you go to select you color choose color range and press on the white before that you go and select the sample color all right so you go and press the white and untick the invert button so now you see we have selected only the white part you press ok and just press delete so now you see we only have our design in there right so let's put a background and we'll just fill this with our bucket tool with black because we're going to uh, print this on a black t-shirt so we're assuming this black as our black t-shirt now the white base you go and double click this and color overlay with white and press ok so now we have our white base over here right so you go back to our main uh, uh, main channel here now you do the same thing for red and yellow so we're gonna press the red first and same thing control a to select everything control c to copy and control n to create a new layer press ok now you go and press paste it over here control v go to image mode bitmap flatten layers ok output is 300 half on screens you press ok we keep the same thing same instructions all the details over here we don't need to change anything press ok now you go to image you go to mode turn 
it to grayscale, press OK, and finally to RGB mode. Now you press Ctrl and A to select, Ctrl C and to copy and you go to our color separation layer on top of white you press ctrl v and delete the background so you go to select tool and say click on the color range you press on the white and press ok and delete this now we have to change the color to red so double click on it and color overlay to red there you go so we have the white base and now we have the red change the name of this layer to red so you don't get any confusion now we, we can close this one the red for now and go to our main channel go to channel and do the same thing for the yellow as well So there you go we have our color separations right so this is our white base then we have our red and then we have our yellow so this is the sequence that you want to print you want to print the white base first then red and then yellow and there you go you'll have this printed on a black t-shirt it's beautiful it's going to be beautiful just like my uh, the video that I have shown you in my previous things so all is done all is good only one thing left which is to bring our to bring our registration marks okay so we have brought our registration mark which is here right now you can't see much so you're gonna, what we're gonna do is turn this layer into white so that we can clearly see our registration mark so this is our registration mark and what we are going to do is we're going to print the white first so we're going to change the color of the overlay to black because we will be printing this uh, in a black ink to our film so we have our registration mark ready only thing we need to do is mark this layer so in order to do that you go and press the type tool and then you press you type as uh, white right now it's in white color so in order to see you change it to black and yeah that's it so make it a little big so you can see yeah. bring this over here okay so we are good to go so now we have done with our white so you just go and print this on your film okay so once you are done with that we will go and print the rest of the colors same thing again we are going to keep this registration mark always turn on and this is the red go and change the color to black because we're going to be printing this on a black ink and change it this white to red and you print this and after you have done with printing you come to the yellow and again change this color overlay to black and change the name to yellow and you go and print this so that's it that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it if you enjoyed it please do subscribe you know and follow us on instagram thank you and let's see you in our next video see you